Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of my Feed the Beast Unleashed. Yeah, today we've got some crazy amazing things to happen. So, um, although this slime shovel is nice and cool, but it's not as cool as, let's see, let's go right here, as the excavator. Even the name sounds cool. So what I'm going to need is I'm going to need um, eight slimes for the uh, the head. Well, not even eight. It's going to be um, 32, 32 green slime balls. Actually, you know what? I think I have... No, I don't have a unifier. Okay. So a unifier, you can take blue slime balls and turn them into green ones. But I don't have a unifier... I'll probably end up building one, but not today. And then you need three more for the tough rod, and then I'll be using paper for um, the plate and the binding. <coughs> so in order to do that, I've got two, so I need nine more. So we got to go shopping. After I eat some potatoes and sleep the night away. Oh, and I, I added some barrels because I was running out of room. And I mean, I've got cleaning out downstairs. I've got 15 stacks of stone already. So here's what we've got so far. Um, I made it a little lower than the last time, so I've got room for um, um, wiring. i got a two-block um, area for wiring if I want anything I want to wire up to uh, the main floor. And then down here, I've got five blocks. And as you can see, i got a bunch of dirt. And you know what? It's time to just uh, grin and bear it and go get some slime. So this tree up here, that's a green tree. And the trees have, as you can see, I already rated that one. <laughs> I did it by hand. I had to climb all the way up. And you just got to hope you don't fall off. Three, four, five, six, seven, ooh. Eight, how many? I got eight, so I need like one more. Seriously? Oh, did I? Yeah. This guy here. So the other thing I want to get is I want to get more, um, yeah. I want to get, um, I don't care about the slime balls. I want the saplings. Oh. Oh, stop. Okay. So the saplings, you can essentially grow more trees and then um, get more slime balls. I don't know how many I'm gonna need. I want to get a slime hammer, and I'll end up upgrading it with speed. And later on, I'll have. Um, I know it's not well, maybe not a slime hammer. Um, I'll actually probably do that one out of cobalt. That'll probably be better. All Tinker's Construct Toys. We're we going over here. I don't know if I've been over here yet. You know how cars make the world smaller? Well, toys like this, ooh, that's a lot of red. Toys like this make the world smaller. Ooh, flowers. Jink. Yep, now I'm slow. <laughs> it's using too much. Gotta wait for it to charge back up. Come on already. What are these? Hydrangea? Yeah, these are light blue dye. So I'm going to be using the, the bioreactor to create biofuel, but I'm not going to do it the cheaty way. <laughs> I, I think 
Equivalent exchange is a nice tool to get some of the things that you're just having a hard time getting otherwise. Like, really hard. And not because uh, you just haven't spent the extra time it takes to... Ooh, shrubland. I guess I've never been here before. And... Come on, guys. Where are you guys at? I don't want that. Um, let's do this. Five and um, this guy. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's two of them right ahead. There we go. I just haven't rendered yet. But the other thing we're going to need the green slime for is any any uh, Tinker's Construct stuff that we make. Um, if we want a slime rod, which gives us the 2x um, modifier of the durability to the tool, then we're going to need some more of these guys. So uh, the other thing I want is the sapling so I can continue to make fun stuff. So that guy there. I could tick all these, but I don't really like those. And that's an oak tree, which is kind of lame. <laughs> So I'm going to grab these guys, I'm going to head back to the house, and I will see you there. Okay guys, I'm back. And uh, so my little excursion got me 28 uh, congealed green slime, and these turn into um, four balls each. So I need 11 sets of those. So, and then I got six slimy saplings to go along with it. And what I'm going to need is, so I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven of these guys. So I got eleven dirt and I need eleven sand. Um, well, what I can do is, let's pull up a stack out of here and see furnace pulverizer okay so your output's done so I'm gonna go like that eight nine, ten, eleven. so I need that guy yeah okay let me crank this guy up and I'll tell you what I'm doing okay so what we're gonna end up making is a an excavator excavator requires excavator head large plate tough rod tough binding um, if you look at the part creator the oh, looks like I might have to mix some of those too but there's the large plate pattern is eight um, there's the rod the tough rod is three so that's eleven there and this guy's uh, three also and then the um, do I have any more patterns oh, yeah so we need the excavator head it's an axe head oh, oh I'm gonna go the other way is that it no. no that guy broad shovel head pattern pretty sure that's it So we'll end up doing that guy and that guy. So the head will give us the um, main statistics, uh, base durability, and um, what you can mine, how fast you can mine, how much damage you do. And then the rod adds ability traits as well as... Um, affects the total durability. So if you use a green slime, so if we look at green slime, so there's green slime. So here's how you make it. This is what I'm doing is I need to make slimy mud and then I need to cook it to get the slime crystals. Let's see if we're done over here. Yeah. So I get these guys. So let's, let's do this up real quick. So these guys here. Get those, stick these in the, where are you at, there we go, okay, slime crystals, oh, I didn't show you the stats, okay, let's go to, 
Green slime, there it was. Okay, so base durability is going to be 1500, and then the handle modifier is going to be 2x. So that'll at least start me out at 3000. Now, the excavator itself has a high durability, and I should be at around 5000 durability when this is all said and done. Now, mining level of 3, obsidian, I think 4, four or I think 4 is the highest, which is cobalt. Yeah, see, four, you can mine cobalt. And which, being that it's a shovel, it only affects dirt and whatever. But the mining speed is 1.5, so it's really slow. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add paper to the plate and the binding. And what that's going to do is, let's see if the paper is in here. Bone for <laughs> to stone. Oh, maybe not this direction paper. Now paper adds plus one modifier. It says writable plus one modifier. So that'll give me two extra modifiers. So that'll start out at five modifiers. And if I want, I can add with a diamond, it'll give me another mod. I think it's a diamond. The modifiers are back here. <coughs> so, oh no, diamond adds extra durability. Emerald adds 50% more durability. So I'll probably end up adding a an emerald, maybe. That'll add, if I, it'll probably mostly be speed is what I'll end up adding. So speed, um, yeah, so that there, auto repair, auto smelt, luck, Sharpness, Fiery, Necrotic, Silky, um, Reinforced, Knockback, I'm not going to be doing that, Beheading, yeah, Bane of Lameness, Electric, Additional Modifier, so a Diamond and a Gold Block, will add one more um, slot, and then another star is another slot. Now these guys, once I get a wither skeleton soul shard these guys might not be too bad um, I think I saw hypno yeah there's a monster out here oh here he is there's a couple guys out here if I can hit him I need some uh, need some sour cream with these baked potatoes you're over there with a head crab on your spider with a Oh gosh. Oh man, that's just that's just Okay, you guys can get back now. Bye. <laughs> They're all gonna burn. <coughs> okay, so before I was so rudely interrupted. So these guys should be done, which they're probably up here. So I got eleven crystals. So what I'm gonna do, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna stick these guys in here. So we need a broad axe head, excavator head, and then we bring them down here and we need the tough rod. And then for the other two, I want paper. Now paper is interesting. Each piece of paper is a half of a resource. So you'll see it pulls six, so I should be left with 18. Should be left with, no, 16. I can count, honestly. <laughs> so then we go down here and this is going to take 8 you double that to 16 there we go Yeah. so then we go over here to the tool forge this guy's amazing worth the 4 iron blocks that you make but so excav slime excavator head the slime tool rod and then we add the binding and the plate so we're going to end up with 5 modifiers and then see that 5,000, um, I think I might still have a wooden tough rod. Oh, no, that was the last one. I made a wooden, here, to show you how much, check this out. So let's do this. So it's only wood, I can make more wood. So here's the tough rod, and that's what you use to tell, um, 
Oh, wow. Oh, it's one stick. Okay. So a stick is um, a material. So, oh, no, that, yeah, n uh, never mind. <laughs> no, yeah, a whole log is, I was wondering why it only took three. Um, okay, so let's go back to the excavator. And right now it says uh, 5,400. Now wood is a 1x, so 3,000. So it added about 2,500 to the to the overall durability. And then I've got five more, which I'll probably use mostly for speed. Um, once I get into doing uh, excavation with the quarry, uh, this will be more for digging and, and doing stuff. But once I get into a, a quarry, I should have plenty of redstone to go around. So I won't have any problems um, bumping up the speed on this. So let's go ahead and make this guy. Now this guy, like the, um, the mallet, I don't know if you've used the mallet. This guy will mine... Um, 18 blocks it's almost almost afraid to maybe there, get some so the other thing that's interesting about these is you can go like this and you can go let's see we'll put one guy there oh no make a liar out of me oh I'm guessing these go only go Oh, these only go flat. These aren't um, dark craft. Okay, sweet. Uh, I need one there. If you right click on it, it'll add a block that's next to it. So you see I got dirt right next to it. So um, I actually need to... Um, I need to mine these guys here. Let me get rid of all this dirt. See, it goes pretty slow. But... I mean, you get six out of it. So that's higher than I want to go, but I want to get rid of. Um, I want to place that all with stone. So if I had an actual uh, wand of equal trade, that'd be sweet. But I'm gonna go ahead and clean this all up and make it all nice and pretty, pretty bland. <laughs> this is gonna be pretty much all stone. Um, well, it's going to be stone for now. I've got um, these guys here. Uh, what are we on? Yeah. These guys I, I liked. Really looked like a... Um, nope, not those guys. I will not place obsidian. I will not. So, small black stone bricks. Now, these are... Um, That'll do eight. Oh, oh yeah, those are easy to make. Okay, because I have tons of stone. So if I block those guys, I'll end up with the large ones, and then I can use those to make the small ones. Okay, sweet. So I can do those, and then um, the white ones is what I do the walls with, which looks really nice. Um, oh, I could do those with stone too. Oh, sweet. I, I thought I had to get a bunch of clay to do this. Okay, that's going to be awesome. All right, I'm going to clean this up, and I might even pretty it up now that I know it's fairly easy. Oh, with sugar? Interesting. Instead of white uh, dye. Huh. Okay, I will see you guys in a bit. Hey, guys, how's it going? I got me a fan club. Come on, check it out. Party over here! <laughs> What's wrong? No explosive personality today? Are they sad? No, so I've got Bane on one of these. Yeah, I've got it on my chest. When you hit him with Bane, they can't blow up anymore. <laughs> and it, what's funny is that the... Um, the comments on the wiki say that, and it says it's just kind of creepy. <laughs> so that was pretty good. So follow me around. Oh, oh yeah. Did I get? 
For dandelions, uh, let's see. I don't want those guys. Sunflower, oh, these guys suck. I don't want. Sunflower seeds are lame, by the way, just so you know. They're, they're, okay, so I got a stack of yellow, a stack of these guys, and a bunch of those guys, a stack of red. I can probably take a red and a yellow and make orange. And then <laughs> they give me another sec. But um, so right now I'm just trying to kickstart my uh, my bioreactor. So I went and I found a uh, flower uh, or a, what is this? I'm not sure what biome this is. I don't remember. I just looked it up a second ago. Uh, garden biome. I wonder how good this would be for a, um, a miscraft world because if you um, you wouldn't really need to make up any machinery you just you know oh I need uh, I need more seeds so you just go to the miscraft world and get more or more dyes you just do it every so often I think it runs super slow you don't need any hefty uh, Um, machines to keep it running. I was watching. Uh, oh, who am I watching right now? Oh, um, King D Mac, King Daddy D Mac, and yeah, he's got. <laughs> I think he's got like twenty four of them going. Like he's trying to power the world. Okay, so we're gonna do this guy and that guy. So that's eighty. And then you take these guys, so we got magenta. And we're gonna get yellow, which gave me two stacks. And we got white. Um, let's throw in. I don't like barley. I really don't. Uh, it's both barley and seeds. Um, if you're gonna use them for a farm, don't use them for a farm for this because they take too long. You don't get enough seeds versus what you need. Uh, carrots and potatoes are really good. Uh, carrots, uh, cactus. I'm gonna make a um, a bigger farm. So carrots, potatoes, uh, pumpkins, melons. Both those are really good. And if you use the crops, if you, um, I think I showed it on my last let's play. I was using crops, and oh man, is that craziness that's I feel cheating it's it's so nuts okay so I'm gonna take these guys actually you know I'm gonna take a half stack of those and a half stack of those because that's gonna give me a full stack of those so it's a full stack of orange and uh, there's a red and there's a yellow and then a I wonder if no. Too bad I didn't have a stack of blue. There's a light blue. There's dandelions. Dandelions do a light and gray. So let's see what we get in here. So we've got a magenta, a light blue, a light gray, and a um, they won't do white dye. Oh, it's a biomes of plenty. So, so it'll do these seeds, but as far as dye goes, it has to be a vanilla dye. Um, don't want to use those if I don't have to. Um, well, I could probably do a half stack of those, or a half of what I have. And um, there's all the seeds, the yellow. Um, let's put those guys in there. Um, let's see. Let's take these guys. We got it's a blue dye. These guys might be blue also. Blue. Okay, so they're. Um, can we mix them with here and make light blue dye? There we go. There's something to do with them. There. 
Um, yeah. Okay. And that'll leave me 24 seeds. I want to make uh, cotton. Definitely want to do cotton. That's, um, I'll do that. Well, I guess they're easy to find, so I'm just going to stuff it in here anyway. So I've got max efficiency, right? This should take, um, so it's going to take one from each of those, and any time it takes one from all nine, it's going to produce 1.4 buckets of biofuel. So for an eight, it should take about seven of the... Let's see, which ones do we only have? So we have 60 light gray dice, so it should bring it down to 53 when I turn it on. 55 even. Okay, so what it's doing now, it's going to start filling these guys up. filled up and that guy's gonna stay filled up but yeah the sucker's pretty great look how slow it's going and this should actually fill up so it'll fill up four buckets here before it goes um so yeah it put um it's putting it all in here and this is going up so it'll keep this guy going and that's 16 MJs per tick coming out to all these guys. I know they. This guy runs four. This guy runs two. Four. Forty. <laughs> Magma Crucible. Okay. So this guy, I'm only going to be using him. So he's got 40,000 MJ. So his internal buffer won't be too bad most of what he's going to be doing is ender pearl resonant ender and um, uh, crystals not crystals um, redstone whatever the resonant redstone I don't know what they're calling it and this guy's doing four so four eight nine ten fourteen so I this guy can power this whole line with the exception of the magma crucible without losing um, without running out of EU so none of these guys will be starved so I can run this whole thing and I should be fine so what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take all my um, I'm gonna build a hopper uh, actually I think I have some upstairs and um, start trucking away what I might do induction smelter no these guys are gonna be random so these these two guys here are gonna be running probably non-stop we'll see how's this guy doing almost full okay did I hit play yeah okay you know sometimes you you don't really know like, well, I'm sitting here talking to myself. <laughs> -da -da. Alrighty, so that's going. Um, oh, I stuck all my ores in here. Oh, yeah, I was going to do a hopper. Okay, let's do a hopper real quick. Everybody knows how to do a hopper. Hoppity hop up, hop up. Um, <coughs> ink sacks are really good, especially in the Unleashed pack. Um, the Mine Factory Reloaded... Um, uh, rancher this guy pulls ink sacks out really quickly so this would be a good uh, thing to to get liquid ducts there's your liquid duct that's not too bad I've got an induction smelter now so I can start making those um, this is something that I really needed not this specific item but um, getting my energy production going I was using a clockwork engine I'm like, come on, come on, just a little bit more. I don't like doing things halfway. So even down there, I'm, I think I'm okay. I think I'm kind of set. I'm not super set, but I'm kind of set. Because um, I'm going to run the ME interfaces on the top, and out the bottom, they're going to be, um, uh, what do you call them things? <laughs> Uh, import buses. 
at the bottom so uh, you won't see them they'll look really nice that's, that's the way I like them um, and I am currently looking oh <laughs> I killed a, cute f a few cows like five ten five six cows with a looting four sword and I got all of them all that leather that's crazy um, the thing that I'm looking for is a name that I don't know oh, I made hoppers that's what I'm looking for I don't think they're over here anyway I'm using these a lot these are I thought I had a couple going. No, I could have sworn I had some. What do I do with them? Those are... Did I not see them? Did I go through all these all too quickly? Because I... I wonder if I didn't... I wonder if that was the last map I was messing with that. Hopper, hopper, okay. Well, the last place they're going to be is these guys down here. Unless... Yeah, they're not there. I didn't put them in here, did I? Nope. Okay. Um, well, time to make a hopper then. Uh, let's see here. Let's get all that garbage out of there. So we're going to... Do this, that, 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 and, doop. and I need. So that's going to go there, and we're going to accept input from the top, output to the right, and then let's get some. Oh gosh, let's get some inventory space. Um, Let's see, I don't want to do, I think if I pulverize, no, that's in the next one. So, um, Direwolf 20 pack, if you pulverize, um, if you pulverize redstone ore, you get, uh, I think it's called Cinnabar, but it's not the same one that's used with thumb. Thongcraft? What is this? Yeah, it's not the Thongcraft one. It's a. Uh, it's kind of like niter, and it adds to um, the percentage of. Uh, adds to your ore, like triples your ore, hundred percent chance of. So for iron, if you were to put iron in there, which I don't have a lot of iron, so I'm gonna shove the iron in here. I need to do some mining. I'm using a lot of iron. I've been making a lot of uh, iron chests. Let's put some copper, some gold. Uh, we're going to need some lead. Definitely need some silver. That should be five right there. Yep, there we go. Copper, silver, gold, lead. What else do we want? Um, <laughs> that about covers it. Oh, tin. Let's put it before the lead. So these guys are going. And then these will get ferris. Okay, cool. So that should work pretty good. And then these guys are going to kick it up. What are you guys doing? Iron right now? I should have some more iron. But yeah, here's this is what I'm doing. So I'm moving my stuff downstairs. Start to clean up. Um, I want to take all these inventories down there too um, and then I'll clean this whole area up and then all I'll have left is this corner for ME and then I can decorate and it'll be fun and I think I'll do my tree over here again I don't know what I'm gonna do in the, I should do a thumbcraft tree I think that would be pretty cool the tree would be like huge cuz uh, um, I'll need to figure that out. I've never done Thomcraft, but I have an idea for a tree design, which um, I could put. I could put down here. This might be big enough, but the bottom would be like stuff. I don't know what I'd put at the bottom, 
but then like maybe 40 50 blocks up maybe like this high here is where the thumb craft actually is and I'll probably do some uh, an interlinking book but I think and things are like 10 or 15 blocks in diameter and um, I've been I wanted to do like a tree like a dead tree you see in the movies of the dead tree and the smoke coming out and stuff that's gonna be my thumb craft tree <laughs> should be fun um, I'm excited it sounds like it'll be a, a great time it'll be a hoot it'll be a hoot and we'll have a good time all right I will um, I'm gonna check see how much time we got and um, maybe in this episode or I'll be back I'll be back either way okay see you in a bit yep we are out of time again man this goes by too quick oh just having a blast it's a crazy time Okay, yeah, cool. So you saw the stuff that we got. I got this all cleaned out. I'm using chandeliers for two reasons. Uh, light and um, spawning. They won't, mobs won't spawn within 16 blocks. I, I believe it's a diameter. I'm not sure. But, um, and then you need five of them for a magnum torch. And I need melons. I don't think I have any melon seeds, or I haven't grown any melons, to do the uh, regen potion, or healing potion. One of the two. I need melons for. Um, but yeah, so I'll have to go searching for that. So that might be on the next episode. But hey, if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like. It helps me out a lot. Um, if you're enjoying the series, please subscribe so you can keep up to date on the la latest uh, videos. And if you're interested in seeing anything, or interested in... Uh, seeing how something's done, uh, please leave a comment. Ask me whatever you want. Uh, within reason, I keep it clean, so please keep it clean in the comments. Um, Alright guys, take care, have a good one. See you next episode.